Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical report events. And in the previous videos, we started with top of page event. We understood the full top of page event. We have written the logic for the same. We understood the flow in the debugging mode that whenever the first write statement will come, control will automatically shift on to top of page event. Then it will print the data using write statement. Firstly, it will print the or firstly, it will execute the logic, which is the part of top of page event. Now we will proceed further. If I will go for running this program. So we have 10 records in the output. We have this page number and these particular column labels are coming through top of page event. This end of records is coming through end of selection event. This end of records we gave as a part of which event end of selection. Now what we will do for the full or more understanding of top of page. Now we will go for multiple pages output. As of now, we are only going for one page. Now we will go for multiple pages output because what is top of page? It is used to give the title or header at the beginning of a new page. As of now, we have only one page. So we will create multiple pages and we will see the behavior of top of page. Now, what we will do, suppose on a particular page, we will only, only print 10 records. We will only print 10 lines. Whenever the number of lines or record exceed 10, data will shift to next page. Suppose on the next page, whenever the number of record exceed 10, data will shift to next page. So now we will go for multiple pages. So how to give the multiple pages? You need to go for this top of the program. Here we have a keyword, line count. Line count means on a page, you will go for how many lines? Yes, it depends upon the requirement. Sometimes we will go for 50 lines on a page, sometimes 100 lines on a page, depends upon the requirement. Suppose in our current scenario, we will go for line count 10. It means on a page, we will go for 10 lines. Now we will see the behavior, how, how our output will be. Firstly, I will run the program. I will show you the output. Now, have you seen, we have two pages in the output, page number one and page number two. I will show or I will open this output as it is. But now it's most, most important to understand this in the debugging mode because few concepts will only, only be cleared in the debugging mode. How we have the line count 10, how we are going for next page, how the new page is triggering. We can only, only understand in debugging mode. So firstly, what I will do, this will be as it is. And in another session, we will go for full understanding in the debugging mode. I'll put a breakpoint. Firstly, initialization. And I gave the line count 10. Means on a page, 10 lines will be there. Extremely important understanding. This is top of the page. I'm running the program. Firstly, initialization event called, it assigned the default values. Whenever I will go for execute button, firstly, add selection screen event will call. It will validate the input. Everything is correct. 
Now we are on start of selection. We fetched data from order header table and we have 10 records in the internal table, 10 records, okay? Now, now we put a loop on this internal table and we are passing the records to one by one. Now we have the first write statement in the program. So it will not write, it will not write the data. Firstly, it will go to what? Top of page. Now it is going to top of page. It is printing the page number. It is printing the column labels. Okay, now, now it's a important point to understand. Just see the output. This is the output. Have you seen in every page, on every page, the first line is reserved for the title, reserved for the title. We have not given this, it came automatically. When we created the program, then we gave the title to the program. This title is coming automatically on every page. So have you seen first line is reserved, one line count is done. Now automatically one underline is coming. Have you seen one underline is also coming? It means on every page, two line count is already reserved, already there, already. So first line, second line. Now have you seen after that you are printing the page number using top of page. So this is which line? Third number line. Now you are giving the column label. So this is which number line? Fourth number line. So four lines are done. It means we can only, only print the data of how many remaining rows? Six rows. So now this after top of page control will go to which statement now? This loop statement. It will print the first record, Cytabix1. Done. Now we have Cytabix2. Now we have Cytabix3. Now we have Cytabix4. Now we have Cytabix5. Now we have Cytabix6. Now 4 plus 6. 10 records done on a particular page. We told that 10 records will print, 10 lines will print on a particular page because these two lines are automatically given by the SCP itself. This column label and the underline. It means rest. We can only, only go for eight lines. Out of those eight, two lines we gave as a part of top of page. It means we can only, only go for remaining data of how many lines? Six lines. Now 10 line count has been done. Now control will come on to next right statement. Now just simple understanding. Now we have a new page. Now we have a new page. We have a new page. So whenever we have the new page and write statement is executing. So write will not execute. It will check. Are you going for route, right? Control will directly come on to which particular event top of page. Because what is top of page? To give the title or header at the beginning of a new page, new page. Now this is the first write statement for the new page. So control automatically go to top of page. It is now printing top of page for the new page. So it is printing the title page number. Sorry. Now we have the column label and have you seen now the control went to which statement right statement. Now out of 10, six records, already already printed on the first page now it's a turn for which record now seventh record now it's a turn for the seventh record now you can see site epic seven now on the second page also one line reserved for the title one underline third line came through top of page fourth line came through what top of page then we have remaining how we can go for data or we can go for lines of how many count 
only only six. So we have seventh record. We have eighth record now. Now it will go to eighth record. Now we have the ninth record. And now we have the tenth record. Now you can see all records done, all data end. So control went to which particular event end of selection. You can see on the next page, these two reserve. These two came through top of page. This is the remaining data which is printed. And this is which particular event end of selection. So you can see on the next page, we have only nine things total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is extremely, extremely important concept. That's why we are covering each and everything in the debugging mode. And the most, most important point, what is the summary of this particular full video? In this video, what we did? We firstly gave the line count. We firstly gave the line count. Line count, whatever the line count you will give that those many lines will print on a particular page. So we gave the line count 10. It means on a particular page, 10 lines will print. Suppose if I'm running and showing you the output, I'll just delete the breakpoints. Now people always has an understanding. 10 lines means it will print 10 lines of data. No, just see 10 is the total count. Out of this one line is automatically your program title when you created the program. One line came, one underline came automatically. So two lines are automatically reserved by the SAP itself. Now you gave the line count 10. Out of 10, two are automatically coming on every page. So it means you have a space of eight lines on every page. These two things we gave through top of page. It means we can only print the data of how many lines on a particular page, six lines only. So total we have 10 lines. This is the total, total 10. Now on the next page, we have total, total nine lines. So everything ended and at the last, when all data done, which particular event called end of selection. Most, most important understanding. Whenever in the next video, we will go for end of page event. So this understanding will play a vital role there. And the most important point is after printing the data on the first page, again, whenever write statement is coming, control is again going to top of page because top of page is giving the title or header at the beginning of new page. Yes, we want top of page at the beginning of every new page. So yes, this is the full summary or I can say full explanation of top of page. In the next page, in the top of page event, in the next video, we will start with end of page event. So that's it in this video. Thank you.